This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 143. Psalm 143. O Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. Remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit faints with longing. Do not hide your face from me, or I will be like those who go down to the pit. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, for I hide myself in you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your unfailing love, silence my enemies. Destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. Teach me to do your will, O Lord. Lead me on level ground. Let this be our prayer today that the Lord teaches us how to live for him how to do his will Isaiah chapter 50 verses 1 to 10 Isaiah 50 this is what the Lord says where is your mother's certificate of divorce with which I sent her away or to which of my creditors did I sell you because of your sins you were sold because of your transgressions your mother was sent away when I came why was there no one when I called, why was there no one to answer? Was my arm too short to ransom you? Do I lack the strength to rescue you? By a mere rebuke I dry up the sea, I turn rivers into a desert. Their fish rot for lack of water and die of thirst. I clothe the sky with darkness and make sackcloth its covering. The Sovereign Lord has given me an instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He awakens me morning by morning wakens my ear to listen like one being taught. The Sovereign Lord has opened my ears, and I have not been rebellious. I have not drawn back. I offered my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. I did not hide my face from mocking and spitting. Because the Sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore have I set my face like flint, and I know I will not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who then will bring charges against me? Let us face each other. Who is my accuser? Let him confront me. It is the Sovereign Lord who helps me. Who is he that will condemn me? They will all wear out like a garment. The moths will eat them up. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the word of his servant? Let him who walks in the dark, who has no light, trust, in the name of the Lord, and rely on his God. Here is one of those passages which meant something to the first hearers. They would have thought of the determination of the prophet in order to spread uh, the word of the Lord, to use the instructive tongue the Lord had given him. However, when we read it, we see that this was not merely that. This was also a prophecy about Jesus that he brought the word of the Lord to us, that he was the one who didn't turn back when, uh, the, when he was struck uh, or when he was tortured or when he was insulted and spat upon. He was the one who was determined. No one could bring an effective charge against him. He was able to, uh, not guilty before God. Luke 13, 22 to 30. Then Jesus went through the towns and villages, teaching as he made his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, 
Are only a few people going to be saved? He said to them, Make every effort to enter through the narrow door, because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. Once the owner of the house gets up and closes the door, you will stand outside knocking and pleading, Sir, open the door for us. But he will answer, I don't know you or where you come from. Then you will say, We ate and drank with you and you taught in our streets. But he will reply, I don't know you and where you come from. Away from me, all you evildoers. There will be weeping there and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, but you yourselves thrown out. People will come from east and west and north and south and will take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. Indeed, there are those who are last who will be first and first who will be last. In this passage, Jesus prophesies to the Gentiles, or about the Gentiles. People will come from east and west and north and south, and will take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. Indeed, those who are last, the Gentiles, will be first, and those who are first, the Jewish nation, will be last. Here is a prophecy from Jesus that the kingdom of God is going to be open, and a warning to those to whom it belonged, to the Jewish nation, to turn to God and to trusting him that they themselves would not be thrown out that they would enter into the great feast of the kingdom of God let us make sure those of us who are in the church with that we strive we make every effort to enter into the narrow door that we ourselves who are now first are not last that we ourselves have um, determined that we will live for him and we pray that we will be there when the Lord draws others into his kingdom. Let's pray together. Our Father, we pray for this day. We pray for the services that will take place around the world, particularly here in Luton. Lord, we pray for Ralph and the uh, people from the Salvation Army that they will be blessed as we gather together with them. Lord, that uh, you will anoint Ralph as he preaches and anoint our ears to hear your word. In Jesus' name, amen. God, the giver of life, whose Holy Spirit wells up within your church, by the Spirit's gifts equip us to live the gospel of Christ and make us eager to do your will, that we may share with the all of creation the joys of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.